All right, thanks so much, Nick. Now, following the guilty verdict of what some call one of the largest trials in South Carolina's history. Dozens upon dozens of people who traveled near and far have been following the trial since the very beginning. They shared their thoughts. Our Emily Johnson has their reactions. What do you think of the verdict, As Alec God? Murdoch was escorted out of the courtroom, a crowd gathered to ask how he felt about the guilty verdict. I'm really proud of the jury. Um, because they they solved the case the way I saw it, and um, I, I'm just really proud of my state. I'm really proud that um, justice was served. The prosecution team shared how they were thankful that Murdoch was found guilty and that the six-week lawn trial had finally come to an end. But Justin Bamberg, who is an attorney that represents victims in Murdoch's financial crimes, and says justice is far from over. For all of his financial victims, right, those people who had to bury their loved one while he stole their money or the ones who uh, were suffering from extreme pain that they could have used their money to help themselves and he took it, they still need their complete justice, right? Bystanders shared hugs, took photos, and called loved ones to share their experience witnessing the trial that has gained national attention to the city of Walterboro. It's actually a relief. I mean, everybody has been so great being here, and it's been really nice to see see people, but it, it's time for us to go back to being a, a small town. Some spectators have even watched the trial since the beginning. These prosecutors, they stood up for justice, and I really appreciate that, and God sent the strength to them to do that. In Walterboro, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.